Before we start off with my groceries this week, I have a quick question for you. Does it annoy you when a store worker takes your food from your grocery cart and puts it on to be scanned at the till? I know at Costco, they always have the person who takes it after it's been scanned and puts it back in nicely into your cart. But as of late, they have had workers taking it from your cart and putting it on the, the whatever it's called, the till, the till line. I don't know. What's that name of that? I, I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, it bothers me so much. I don't like it. And I think that it's a great service for people who need that assistance to take things, especially the heavier items and put them to be scanned. But I don't need that assistance and it, I feel the annoyance building in me. And I like to think that I'm a rational person and I feel completely the opposite when this happens. It really triggers me. I think it's because they're very, they're not gentle. And I have a formula, like a way of doing things in my mind. I've grocery shopped long enough to know you put the heavy and larger items in the front and you put your items that are more fragile in the back. Every time that they have assisted me, they do the complete opposite. They put all the fragile items up front and they even put like heavy items on top of it or like frozen, like frozen chicken on top of my like fragile package of strawberries. And I'm sitting there going like, oh, please don't, please don't. And I feel like one day I'm gonna say something and I don't wanna be that person because they're evidently just doing their job, but it drives me crazy. And I don't know, I think I need to start looking for it and being aware of it and go, even if it's a longer lineup and just go around because it, it I can't handle it. They're not gentle. They're like squeezing my bread. They're, it's not good. Anyways, I don't know if that's just me, but it's a pretty big deal to me. I do not like it. All right, on to better news though, at least for British Columbians, and I'm probably maybe all Canadians. I don't know if this inqu inquiry is provincial or federal, but the head CEOs of the major grocery chains had to testify this week into the inquiry of why are grocery prices still so high? They are on average 11% higher than they were a year ago. Why? Gas prices have come down, still high, but they've come down. <sighs> like, are they just pocketing it? Because they have found that some of these grocery stores have made very good profit margins in the past six to eight months. So. We Canadian shoppers are really hoping that they find what's going on and maybe the prices will come down a little bit. The economists did say that just the fact of knowing that they are being investigated, if they are inflating the prices to take advantage of inflation, that that in and of itself should help drive down the prices. So fingers crossed. Now, saying that though, Real Canadian Superstore had so much product cheaper this week. And rather it was already on sale or it was a member's price, like if you're a President's Choice member, it's a little bit cheaper. But uh, yeah, I got a lot. So I paid $150 for my uh, Superstore groceries and I got a lot more for $150 than I have in a long time. So maybe this is starting to, you know, benefit the consumer and maybe this inquiry. We'll know, well, time will tell if it was just a one-off this week or not. But on the same lines of that, something has changed with the production lines because there is so much product in my store now. The last two weeks has had every aisle completely stacked, top to bottom, and this week even flooding out into the aisles. Like there was, it was probably, I'm five seven, so it was as tall as me, so, over five foot high and maybe four foot wide and um, three feet deep. I think I said that right. It was, it was really large and it was filled with packages of goldfish. So on my right hand side, top to bottom, full. And then this like cardboard shelving coming out into the aisle completely full. And this is aisle after aisle after aisle. So that's kind of nice if maybe post pandemic, or I guess we're still in a pandemic, right? But anyways, 
<laughs> post delivery disruption and production disruption, maybe things are headed in the right direction. Okay, now I'm about to show you my groceries, but I have to show you this beautiful little tulip first. I am ready for spring. The weather here is still not very spring-like. It's very winter-like. Well, winter for <laughs> the coast, <laughs> which is still spring for the northern parts of Canada. But I am ready to change seasons and get into the cheery brightness of spring. So today I found these tulips at Superstore. They were $2.50 per one. This one is supposed to be, according to the picture, it is supposed to be yellow with red like streaks through it. So really bright and cheery. I had to transfer it to this beige pot that I have because, well, I don't want it in its, its plastic pot and the plastic pot did not fit in it. So it's just a little too high. So I've already transferred it over. I'm going to keep it off in a bathroom <laughs> that's off the kitchen. I know that sounds strange, but this bathroom has the most amazing lighting. It has a beautiful long window that gets gorgeous amount of natural sunlight in it. It's way too cold for flowers outside where I am right now. So this is going to go in there and I'm hoping it does really well. Hope it's not like still like not too cold for it, but it's a spring flower. It's not a warm summer flower, so it should do okay. But anyways, I wanted to show you this before I go transfer it into my bathroom because I'll forget later. Okay, here we go. Let's start off with again, the fridge and freezer products from Costco and Real Canadian Superstore. For our milk this week, we only needed one of the four liter jugs, so that's always great. I picked up my favorite vanilla yogurt again because it's still on sale for $9 for two and the best before date is April. So that's great to have a little bit of savings there. I picked up two of the salted butter, a package again of the Black Forest ham, and then lucky us, the turkey pepperoni sticks were on sale this week. So my family is going to adore these. They just, they love it. And it's nice to get the, the regular size ones sometimes versus just the minis. Okay, from Superstore, the cinnamon buns were such a hit that I picked up two more packages for some time this weekend or coming up on spring break. Because it's spring break, I picked up some appetizers. So two boxes of mozzarella sticks. My family prefers these ones over the Costco ones because the flavor is just much nicer. It's not as stringy as the Costco ones, but tastes great. And they're normally $11 a package, even though they're so small and they were on sale today for $8. So I picked up two. And then we got some more of the Pillsbury pepperoni pizza bites. And over here, some onion rings. I had a request for onion rings, so I had, <laughs> had to pick up those as well. And those will make some fun lunch additions during spring break. I uh, needed another pack of peas and then ice cream. This was on sale for $5.50. This brand, at least, the President's Choice loads of. So this week we went with um, cookies and cream. It's starting to warm up here a little bit. So like highs of like 9 degrees Celsius. So I'm just <laughs> finding people are, you know, just kind of in the mood for a little bit of ice cream. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's because we didn't have some for a little bit, but that's a different flavor for them to enjoy. One of the items that was on sale for members, for President's Choice members, was their PC juice. So these are normally $1.99 per carton. And if you were a PC member, they are $1.29. So I got four of the apple grape, two of the orange mango, and two of the pineapple. Also, I picked up some more sparkling water, some club soda. It is $4.47 for a 12 pack. Cereal, needed a lot of cereal this week, and thankfully they were all on sale. So some honey cones, shreddies. Now this honey shreddies package, this larger family size one was actually cheaper than the the smaller box so that was a good a good thing for me to realize <laughs> cheerios plain cheerios i'm going to mix them with these chocolate cheerios and then vector was requested by uh two of my family members so i got some vector because i couldn't remember if they still had it at costco which they do so maybe next time i'll purchase that one from costco and then two packages of life cereal just the original one their salad dressings were also on sale for $2 um, a container. So I got some Asian sesame, which is used for our stir fries and three cheese ranch. Craft dinner was on sale for $1.25 a box. So I got three boxes. 
the corn, the little baby corns. I got two cans of those. And then the Indian soup and Mexican soup. So good. Picked up some sourdough for the weekend to toast it up because a lot of members of our family love toasted sourdough. And it's actually $3 for that loaf and that's nice. That's a good price. And then I needed some more cling wrap. So I picked up a 90 meter package of this. And hiding in a bag with carrots from Costco <laughs> were these products, lots of yellow. So I got eight packages of chicken vegetable ramen and then these taco shells. So I, taco shells, um, the normal ones that I get, I couldn't find, they were all with like taco kits, which I don't want the kit, I just want the taco itself. So the only way I could get that is to get it rather in Cool Ranch or Cheesy Blast. So I went with the Cheesy Blast. It's not my first choice by any means, but it's, I guess it's just better than nothing right now. Okay, moving on to produce. I picked up another bag of the Naturally Imperfect peppers, organic bananas again. They were just looking a lot better. Like look how green these are. <laughs> It would be perfect for midweek and they're nice size. They're nice and small. They're 89 cents a pound. Oh, and this bag of peppers is $7. And then we got a nice bag of fine ripe tomatoes, cucumbers. These were a surprise this week. Very cheap, $2.97 for three. That's more like it. Those are summer prices. Love it. So got that package very happily and then four crowns of broccoli and they were $1.99 a pound again too so I was very happy about that my pink lady apples they did not have but they had these I've never had it before cosmic crisps anyways cosmic that's just hilarious to me it's like space space apples uh but 97 cents a pound so I just picked up three because the price was right but I don't know I I don't know if we're gonna like them or not so Hopefully. The Dempster's sandwich bread was on sale again for $5.50 for three loaves. So I picked that up. We needed some more Harvest Crunch granola because we are just loving having yogurt bowls right now with the fruit. So good. Picked up another uh, large bag of tortillas because we fully ran out of those. Famous Amos cookies. We love Famous Amos cookies. You can tell because one of my teenage boys got into the package already when I was gone. <laughs> it's been a while since we had these and I price checked um, the other varieties. So, but they have Kirkland and then Pillsbury. Pillsbury's are soft though. And this is by far the better price for what you get. And we just love it. I love these, these cookies. They actually remind me of my childhood when you had um, McDonald's used to serve boxes of cookies for children and they had like the animal cracker version but it was McDonald's characters and then they had the chocolate chip ones and these these are so similar if you grew up in the 80s you know what I'm talking about okay big bars we have a couple family members that are just snacking on these a lot so we needed another box the real fruit gummies picked up another bag I took a couple weeks off but picked up another bag it's such a great price for how much you get then this uh, cherry chocolate trail mix was on sale and I've never had it before and I opened it just to test <laughs> after I purchased, don't worry, after I purchased it and uh, it's amazing, it's so good. So I'm glad I picked that up. Rayo's, it was on sale again, so I picked up another two pack. We needed more honey, we're almost completely out. So honey, holy moly. $23 for three, $23. Oh, that hurts, but it will last us a long time and it is delicious. The uh, salsa was on sale today, $7 for two. So I picked up these and I'm going to make some Tex-Mex chicken again. I'll just pick up the black beans and whatnot next week. And then for produce, I saw asparagus and I thought, yum, let's do some asparagus. We haven't had that in ages. And uh, so I was really happy. It's about $7 for this package, but it's a really big, really big package at Superstore. About less, just less than a half of what is in this bag is uh, $3. So, and again, and maybe a quarter of it, this really small batch of it was for $3 at Superstore. So 
uh, Costco had a good price. Romaine lettuce, so we are going through a lot of salads. So thankfully they had romaine lettuce at Costco. Blueberries, yummy. The cut up of mangoes, delicious. I always look for whatever package has the like darkest color. And then another bag of carrots, the organic carrots. I am still getting used to this small bag. Like it's much nicer in my fridge, but it's half the size for the same price. It's just, it's, it's a shock to me, but um, yeah, it is what it is, but it's hard to get used to it not being such a large bag from them anymore. For non-food items today, I needed some more collagen. This is a different brand. Normally I use um, a different one and it has biotin in it. This does not, but it was on sale for $21 and has 390 tablets, where the other one is $27 for 200. So I thought I can just buy the biotin separate and <laughs> this is a really good price. Napkins, I needed more napkins and I got the lovely cheery spring ones because I'm so ready for spring. Then my daughter broke another water bottle again. Anyway, so we needed another set and it's just so much cheaper to purchase them from Costco in a multi-pack. So this multi-pack was $25. They're quite cute, quite cute. They're quite fun colors and characters on them. And then shoes, so sliders. A few of my men have needed, need new sliders. So I got one for one of my sons and then another one for my husband. And they're really nice and they're a bit cushy where, you know, some of the other ones are a bit harder. There's not a lot of give where these are quite, quite cushy and um, adjustable. That's nice. These were $18.99 a pair. It's nice to get some footwear for under $20. And then my youngest son, he needed another pair of running shoes because he's going to a soccer, or not soccer, a basketball camp. and needed some nice clean ones for indoors. And so they had these Pumas for $44. I really like the back. He tried it on. Uh, he said they're super comfortable. They say that they have a nice, like a cushy, soft bottom, and they do. Anyway, so he really... He's really excited about those. We'll just have to make sure they don't go outside. We have to be really strict about that. <laughs> like I said earlier, my Real Canadian Superstore total came to $150 and I do feel that I got a lot of great product for $150. The dollar stretched nicely this week. Costco, I'm not gonna include the water bottles and vitamins and shoes in my grocery total because they're not groceries. <laughs> So it grossly inflates it otherwise. And it seems like I spent a lot more money on food, which I did not. So if I deduct those items from my Costco bill, it comes to $220. So altogether, both locations, it's $370 this week. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great week ahead of you. And if you're um, living in Canada and you're on spring break this next week, have fun. Hope you get some rest and uh, come back next week. See what I pick up my family of six then.